Extremely dangerous Hurricane Florence continues to close in on the southeast United States and it will carry with it significant storm surge and life threatening inundation. Let's look at these maps, for example, created by the National Hurricane Center to give us almost a block by block assessment of how much water rise you can expect above normally dry ground. This, for example, over southeastern North Carolina in Beaufort and Moorhead City. These are some locations that we think will get significant storm surge. Now, these areas shaded in yellow and orange can expect water rises of six, maybe even nine feet. That's going to flood many of these locations downtown. But it's more than that because this is not just going to be a coastal phenomenon. We know that the storm surge with Florence is going to continue inland and surge many miles. For example, in Newport, North Carolina, significant inundation water rises above nine feet nearby and even farther west than that. This storm surge will find its way well inland. So let's now have a look at what that might be like. For example, we know Florence is going to bring one to three feet of inundation across many locations. That certainly is enough to knock you off your feet. It can definitely stall cars out and even carry cars away and certainly flood many of the lower levels of structures. But we know Florence is also going to bring water rises well above that, perhaps up to six feet. Now, six feet of water, imagine that. That carries large objects in it, like cars, for example, that can act like battering rams and enhance the damage that would otherwise be. And also, we know that can flood the lower levels of many structures. We also know that Florence is going to carry with it likely storm surge well above that, perhaps nine, 10 feet, maybe more. That will totally cover up one-story buildings and structures, leaving them underwater, and certainly pose a risk to many. There are very few places that are safe when the water rises this high. So please follow the advice of your local officials and heed the evacuation warnings and of course stay updated on all the latest forecasts.